Jones here. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. They'll run one really quick. And that will be quickly. As he's going to be stopped before he can even get started. It's a loss of four on the first down play. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us. Well, that's exactly what's happened here. They've lived up to that. Hurt set, set to throw it. He'll drop this one off to Swift. To give him two yards there for the completion. Third and seven now. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. No, you can't stop me. So feel good will do indeed no good because you know I'm getting seven. The offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go for it on fourth and seven. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. And that's going to leave them with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to Hanna. We'll be back. Right there, as he'll take this down to the 33. Now 
the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. It's a game of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run straight ahead here with Connor. No gain on the play in the second down. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, it's Pollard. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. By the way, you'd be looking at about a 37 yarder from here as they come up on an important third down. Across the He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lear, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And the lead is now 21-14. So after, so after the touchdown, the touchdown Aubrey, Aubrey now to, to kick this one away. away. And here comes here a return come from a few steps into the end zone. And, and the decision to bring it out, not a good one, one as he's tapped it at the 15. Set to go. And the pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. And they need their best drive of the game right here. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one. It might need to just put it out of side and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On second down, here's the option. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Hurts. You did that. You did that. And his guys are going to take over. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down to the hands of the wrong team. They'll run left with Pollard. It was Josh Schlepp who got him down on the defensive side. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. Second down, Pollard again. He winds up getting all the people there down to the 29. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Open man land. It's complete. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive, also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from the defensive perspective, didn't yeah, he but he had an all-time issue at this moment. He's had an all-time issue. He can't believe it. He has CD blame issues. <laughs> Yank.
on some time, they call me Deuce Deuce. Talk about you do this and that, ain't none of that done near you. Feel like that you pop off, no damn way that you do. Feel like that you do. Feel like that you do. A 
21-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are back within a couple of the lead. Now Mike McCarthy going to decide to go for two here. This looks like a free play for Prescott. And he's going to hit for the two points, but there is a marker down. So we'll have to see what that's about. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. So eight, eight yard score now as he'll send this one away. All the return is Jones from the end zone. You don't get another one that easy. Especially that, Robert. <laughs> you know you fucking with somebody that can play now. Man, you won't get another one that easy. Let's go. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score four shots. It's been be that easy again, bro. I mean, none of that, none of that clown ass shit. You ain't gonna never score a fucking game with that. You snuck me. You stole me the first time. You stole me good. So fourth and fifteen, but the offense is staying out there to go for it. Stole me good. They snap it to the field. Nobody going for that shit. Nobody going for that shit. <laughs> yeah. Hang that shit up. That shit low play. That shit ace. Motherfucking thing. We ain't wasting the motherfucking thing. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. Now whistles come in. We're gonna get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Prescott, they're gonna throw for it. And this will be called. They get the two and they double them up now at 16-8. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge win for your team because you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end at the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. He's got it. Quickly here is in for six. 
That was me. I'm all over the wall side. I'm not going to get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards. And they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was not bad? That was not bad. I was a little cocky. I was a little cocky with it. A little cocky with it. Knowing what it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. You've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. They're still going to look at the sideline now. Their defense is like, can you just come to that? Just a few plays, give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that one break and get on out there and play. So as an inside kick failed in the first quarter, not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game. Or maybe they don't need to jump possession to possession to give it to some team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried. They just didn't get it done. I'm sick, mama. Fucking Stevie. Oh, fucking Stevie. Come on, that ain't your shit. Play your fucking game, dumbass. You're playing with a fucking inferior team. Play your fucking game, dummy. Playing with a fucking inferior team. Play your fucking game. here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going to be crazy right now. Let's face it. They're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. They don't worry. You ain't even scoring no more. You ain't got to worry about that. That's my bad, though. That's my bad. That was on me. I'll take the beat. Second and ten. Yeah. I've got a good friend in football who always talks about predicted history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Kamal. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Misdirection is the key on this play. They're going to go for three receivers to the opposite side of the tight end. And they're going to work their way across the field and let the tight end slip underneath and get slow the other way. They're back and they can get lost, and that's exactly what happened as they pick up the first down. And he has touched the inside the 40, not quite to the 34. To the air again, Fields. Pick that shit. You seen it coming? You seen it coming? Pick that shit. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long. And that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. That's going to be knocked out to the incomplete. And when the time has expired on the first quarter. Back in Chicago, ready for the second quarter. It's the Bears in possession. As they get it with a third down coming up. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Come on, yo, how the fuck did you keep getting beat, yo? So after a rare 
this step on this drive will try to make amends on second and 15. One play action, Fields. And it's knocked away incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes, you go ahead and try to. They try to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Oh, you got to pick that, yo. You got to pick that, baby. You got to pick that. Come on. You got to pick that, baby. got to pick that. Uh, he blew it. Oh, it's eight offense now. <laughs> no, you're getting the eight offense now, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the A off his man. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular. He may go. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, if the plan is to come in here and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, it certainly does not hurt if you hit them with a big shot along the way, too. That's got to give them some confidence in the other thing right now. It quiets this crowd, at least for the time being. Yeah, that is what is called the intended consequence of their actions. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out Charles. And they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit. And then they didn't see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. And Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Throwing on third down, Fields. Oh, he was also they couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well. So give some credit to the defense. Pass taken in by his big team. He's going to get a nice touch down as they manage to convert. And they're going to keep the drop alive. Fields throwing again. And it's just here as he's going to play. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Looking to throw on second down, Fields. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and he's intercepted. Okay, so. Hey, okay, so.